Hi guys, this is Jordan with Motion Array. Today we're going to be going over quickly a really simple but potentially powerful effect. It's been used by a whole number of movies, but perhaps most notably in one scene in the movie Schindler's List, as well as the entirety of Sin City. This effect goes by a lot of names, but its most popular terms have been called the solo color effect, as well as the Sin City effect, because this is one of the movies that heavily used the technique and brought it into the mainstream. Back in 1993, as well as 2005 when each of these movies were released, this effect was quite challenging to achieve. But the great thing is that now, it's incredibly simple to do inside of Premiere. The end result is a black and white video that has only one color. All you need to use is the leave color effect inside of Premiere. So let's get started. Start by taking one piece of footage that you'd like to add the effect to and place it on your timeline. Now go to your effects panel and choose leave color. Drag it onto your clip and then go to your effect controls panel. Here we can see all of the parameters for this effect. The place to start is by selecting the color that you want to remain, and then everything else besides that color will lose its saturation. You can select this color manually, but I'd suggest using the eyedropper and using the actual color of the object in your shot. Click the most average shade of the color that you want to select, and at the moment, nothing should happen. We need to go to the first parameter, called Amount to Decolor. Right now it's set to 0%. But if we increase it slowly, we can see that our shot loses saturation, except for the color we selected. Great! We're starting to get a nice effect, but we can make it even better by using the next two parameters. Tolerance refers to how wide on either side of the color we selected will be included to be left saturated, while everything else outside of that will be made black and white. This can be seen a little bit more easily if we take a shot with pretty much one color, only in different shades. If we take this color example and bring the tolerance down to zero, we can see that only the exact matches to our color selection are left. But if we slowly increase the tolerance, we can see more and more shades become visible. Next is the edge softness, which as its name would suggest, simply feathers the cutoff point between the colors that are selected to be left and the colors that are desaturated. Even having a small amount of softness can help prevent harsh pixelation from gradients that only have partially made the cutoff. Using all of these parameters in combination will help you to get the best result for your specific shot. Great, now we've more or less accomplished our shot. But this effect can be really harsh and very in your face. Why would you want to use this effect if, for example, you make corporate videos or wedding videos? What's great about this effect is that you don't have to go to the extreme with it. You can use this effect to make one color stand out by comparison. Let's take a look at this next shot and we want to focus on these red flowers. But we don't want to leave a harsh black and white effect, we just want to draw more attention to it. One way to do this is by increasing its saturation, but we can also highlight it by taking down everything else by comparison. This can help prevent competing attention with other bright colors in the shot. To achieve this, simply take the decoloration to a minor amount. Enough to make the one color stand out, but not enough to completely draw the audience attention to the effect. And once all is said and done, you can still add saturation after the fact, and this will still keep your object at the forefront of your audience's minds. And that's it, guys, I hope you found this video helpful, and that you can use this effect in one of your upcoming videos. Each of these videos is just another tool in the tool bar that you can use in the editing room. But that's it for me, so thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.